Maybe you just landed your first real job, or you finally got your foot in the door in the industry that you've had your eye on for years. Either way, before too long, you're gonna wonder what's next in your new career. So today, I'm gonna go over four tips that will help you land your first promotion. So you started at your new job and you're just excited to be there. Whether you're fresh out of college or simply moving into a new job field, it won't be long until you start thinking about how you can progress towards the next steps in your career. But be before you get too far in cultivating that future plan, remember that you're here to do a job first, which brings me to the first step in getting that first job promotion, which is to master where you're at before even thinking about the promotion. Unfortunately, we live in a world where hard work doesn't always get us ahead. But when it comes to getting your first promotion, we do need to, at the very least, be competent. It's a prerequisite to anybody actually wanting to promote you. Now, I'm not saying you need to fully master the area that you're in, because honestly, that could take years. But you do need to be able to do your job and do it well. Once you feel like you're an expert at what you do day to day, it might be time to start thinking about what will come next in your career path. In an ideal world, the promotion process is transparent and you know exactly what you need to do to get that first promotion. While that sounds nice, it's rarely that straightforward. Granted, I'm coming from the Air Force, where the first few promotions are literally just time and service unless you do something horrible, right? As long as you don't mess up too bad, you know exactly when you're going to promote, which has some comfort to it. But unfortunately, most jobs in the world aren't that straightforward. And that brings us to our next step. If you want to get your promotion faster, you're going to need to learn the ins and outs of your company's promotion structure. Now, this is rarely on the company website's Q&A page, right? You'll need to talk to somebody who really knows the promotion structure at the company you're working at. Now, hopefully this is a supervisor who wants you to succeed. But if it's not, don't be afraid to reach out to others in the company and get their perspective. Information is the key to success because there is nothing worse than spinning your wheels for months or even years just to realize that you're not going anywhere. To make sure that doesn't happen to you, you'll need to get clear on what it is you actually want. Now, when you're just starting off, you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> and the whole company outside of your small team may seem like a vast unknown world. But as you get a little bit more used to the position that you're in, be sure to branch out. Understand what the surrounding areas are like and how they interact with your team. Figure out where your position fits into the larger picture and start thinking about possible paths you see yourself moving into. It's not always just as simple as moving up the career ladder. A lot of the time, your advancement will involve seemingly lateral moves just to round out your skill set. Now, this is of course going to depend on the company that you're at to an extent, but the core concept is universal. If you don't know which direction you're moving, it's gonna take you a lot longer to get there. Now, I would argue the direction you choose to go is actually less important than just picking a direction, especially if you're just starting out and you don't really know what you wanna do quite yet. In those situations, a breadth of experience is a good idea to get yourself some perspective. Just be aware that as you progress further in your career, you're really gonna to wanna to specialize in a specific area and become a subject matter expert on it rather than becoming a generalist. But that's, that's something that we can talk about later. For now, if you are in a supportive environment, then you're going to be surrounded by people who want to help. But even the best manager can't help you if you can't tell them where you're trying to go. Once you've got that somewhat figured out, we can move into the final step, which is creating your plan, sharing it with your manager, and then actually executing on that plan. One of the best ways to spin your wheels is to not have a plan. Even if you make a plan though, if you don't have a foundation built from the first three steps we went over, that plan is likely to fall apart once things around you start changing. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't go out of your comfort and try new things as they come along, but in general, you should have a roadmap put together that shows where you are, where you're trying to get to, and all the things that you'll need to accomplish along the way to get there. Once you're in a position where you're able to 
easily accomplish your daily tasks with relatively little challenge, it might be time to move on to something a bit more challenging and rewarding. It's at this point you need to do some research and figure out where it is you actually want to advance to and put together that clear roadmap with the steps you'll need to accomplish to get you there. From here, you'll want to take some time with your supervisor or mentor and really lay these steps out. If your manager is any good, they're going to want to help you get there because they know a motivated employee is the kind of employee that they want on their team. It benefits you both to have clear expectations and milestones set so that you can be working together towards the same goal. Now, promotions are rarely, if ever, guaranteed. You do need to work to get them. But by following these four steps, you'll be putting yourself in the best position to snag that promotion and move up in your career faster. Thanks for checking out this channel. I am so glad you're here. If you're interested in this kind of content where we talk about career growth, personal development, uh, interview preparation, all of these things to advance your life on the personal and professional side, be sure to subscribe to my channel where I release videos weekly. And if you find that you're trying to build new technical skills but can't stick to a study schedule, check out this video here where I go into how you can use micro habits to really keep those habits for the long term. And you can use that in your personal life and your professional life. Thanks. Glad you're here. Check out some of my other videos. I'll see you next time.